Hi, my name is Ed Eckel, and I am the engineering librarian at the Western Michigan University Libraries. This video will show you how to use the Engineering Village online database to search for articles from scholarly engineering journals, trade magazines, and engineering conferences. Engineering Village covers all engineering disciplines and is a great place to start your literature search. You can access this database from either the IEE 1020 class guide or the engineering subject guide. These are available at these web addresses. This is what the main page of Engineering Village looks like. Your keywords or search terms will go into each of these boxes in the center. You can select where you want Engineering Village to search for your terms in the articles using these drop-downs. When you first start exploring a topic, you should probably leave each of these drop-downs on subject, title, and abstract until you have a clearer idea of what exactly you are looking for. Then, if you like, you can narrow your search to article title or author. Now let's do a sample search. Type in some keywords relating to your topic, topic, preferably one term in each of these search boxes. Let me give you an example. As you start to type, you may notice that Engineering Village will try to auto-complete or auto-suggest terms related to engineering for you. You're welcome to use these or ignore them and type in your own terms. Once you've typed your terms in, click on the gray search button. When you do any search in Engineering Village, you will get a list of articles. These articles will be journal and trade magazine articles, conference papers, and occasionally patents. The bold-faced headings that you see here are the article titles. These will be followed by the names of the authors, then by the source, which is the title of the journal, magazine, or conference and then the date of publication and other information that you need for your citations. To view more information about the article, including a summary, click on the links under each article that say Detailed. This will bring you to the page where you can see an abstract of the article. The search terms that you used will be highlighted in yellow. There are subject headings for each article located near the bottom. These are called Control Terms uncontrolled terms, and main heading. These give you an idea, along with the abstract, of what the article is about. To go back to your original search results, click on either the Back to Results button at the top, or use the Back button on your browser. You can further, further narrow or filter your searches using the Refine Results box on the left-hand side of the page. So you can select different subject headings. You can select document types, journal articles, or conference papers. You can also limit by year, which some of you in this class have to learn how to do. Once you've selected the limits that you want, click the Limit To button at the top of the Refine Results box. This will narrow your search down. To see if you have access to the full text of the article, either online or in a hard copy, click on either the green Full Text button when it is available, or click on the Find It at WMU button. The Find It at WMU button will take you to a page that will list your options for accessing the full text of the article. For further information on accessing full text articles, please watch the Accessing Full Text Articles video. If you need further assistance with using Engineering Village, please contact your librarian.